Surfside Beach, where we can find Mike Seidel. Mike Seidel has been working hard around the clock. Let's go to Mike now and see the very latest from his location. Mike, let's send it over to you. Hey, good afternoon, Reynolds from Surfside Beach. We're down from Galveston, about an hour and change from downtown Houston. Gulf of Mexico looking a lot different today, a lot better. Uh, one to two footers rolling in, very quiet scene. But this entire beach was underwater yesterday with the surge and then the wind last night gusting 60 miles an hour and over a half a foot of rain. So all three uh, compounded the situation here on Surfside Beach. Look at the pile of debris. Now, this was off the front of this house. Uh, the concrete underneath is uh, holding steady. Those are new steps. In the distance, this is what we've got, some roof damage. Not, not every roof is damaged, just a few roofs taking some significant damage. Those gentlemen have been put, uh, put some plywood up there. Now they're trying to put the blue tarp up there with that offshore wind. And uh, they're doing a pretty good job of that, trying to keep the water out of the house. But what happened is the roof comes off and it rains into the house before they can get the tarp up. So no doubt they have some water damage over there. Let's take a walk up here. We have more damage a little farther inland. This house, you can see the concrete underneath. The foundation is now above the sand. Their foundation is hidden by the sand. By the way, there was a dune line here before Beta hit last year. That's all gone. So they've had issues with Laura and Beta. And now with Nicholas, a couple of couches out here. We think they came from over here. And we talked to the uh, nice family over here. They're working on their roof. No power and water, Center Point Energy says. They don't expect power on in this uh, town in t for at least uh, three days. And that may be longer for some areas where the power poles are down and more damage. This is a surge coming in and taking stuff beyond the homes. And we will come back and show you what part of the town looks like. It's still underwater, Jackie, uh, even oh, wow. after we've had all this day uh, to dry out. So a lot of cleanup here, certainly not as extreme as uh, the uh, areas in Grand Isle, but they didn't have the winds. The winds here gusted to about 60, so that really saved them from extensive structural damage, but there's been a lot of water damage. Yeah, a lot of mess, a lot to clean up there. Thanks so much for that report, Mike. I want to give you the latest on Nicholas, which is... Good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel. We're here in Surfside Beach, Texas, the day after Nicholas hit as a hurricane. It was a hurricane upgraded to a hurricane at the last minute. They had about 60 mile an hour wind gust here, a lot of rain and the surge. And you can see what happened to this property. Now, just about everything's on stilts here. But when you have surge and wind, you're going to have issues. And this is their uh, garage. And if you live down here, you got to fish. Look at all the fishing poles up there, about a dozen fishing poles uh, there. It looks like their washer dryer has been displaced. And you come around here and you can get a sense of how the Gulf of Mexico just, you know, roared through here yes, uh, yesterday afternoon and last night. This whole wall is gone. They've also lost some of their uh, building here. Again, this is not brick or masonry uh, blocks, but it did get pushed away uh, by the surge. And then we come out here and in the distance, that whole area across the street is still underwater, but the water is coming down. We'll come back in a few minutes at the top of the hour at 5 Eastern, 4 Central, and talk to one of the homeowners. He was not here, but he has just come back to look at his house. Uh, Jackie will get his thoughts on what he's seen and uh, what he went through. He was also living here for Ike and some of the mm. other storms. All right. Thanks so much, Mike. We'll look forward to that for sure. Um, as Mike mentioned, Lance is live for us this evening at Surfside Beach. Uh, Mike, we've seen some of the pictures from the air. You know, there's been some roof damage, some water has gotten, you know, underneath homes. What's it like today? Well, it is better today. The water has backed off, but look at this. Still, the afternoon, the day after, still a lot of streets and homes surrounded by water, but it is slowly coming down. Remember, they had the surge and they had about six inches of rain, so they had a lot of water. This is all beginning to come down. And by the way, only residents, property owners, and workers can access Surfside Beach right now. The power is out. Center Point Energy says it's going to be about three days to get most of the power back on. I want to talk to one of the homeowners. This is Richard Touch uh, Touchstone, who lives inland like a lot of homeowners do here. And you just got back in town just a few minutes ago. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're going to check out your home, which is right here on the corner. What do you expect to see from the... You know, from the distance, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Don't see any damage to the roof. Right. Well, I hope it's okay. I'm going to walk inside and make sure there's not any interior damage. So, you know, we'll, we'll check it out in a few minutes. Well, you've been here 20 years, you told me. You went through Ike and Harvey. Yeah. And those were much more significant in, uh, impact storms than Nicholas was. I would say Ike was 
Ike was very devastating. We lost almost our entire house. We had to rebuild and elevate. So, yeah, it was serious. Right. So what are your plans? Just to go in and survey to see if you have any water damage? Yeah, that's right. And, and you know, there could be some exterior damage on the roof, too. We don't know yet till we get over there. So Right, right. We'll, well we out. wish you the best of luck. And uh, it, I guess from the outside, you look like you're in pretty good shape. Hopefully. Keeping your fingers crossed, huh? <laughs> Hopefully. You're still that's gonna, right. You're still going to stay here. You're, nobody's going anywhere, right? Yeah. Got to catch some surf in a couple hours, maybe. That's right. You told me you're a big surfer. Yeah. That's well, right. we got some clean sets, although the wave heights now are down to about uh, just above knee slappers. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's typical for Texas. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Richard uh, Touchstone from Inland coming down to check out his house. Let's go inland to Houston, Texas. Reynolds Wolf is downtown Houston. Reynolds, the heavier rains on the south side of town, which benefits the city as a whole because that rainwater doesn't have to drain yep. through the city, through the uh, certainly through the canals and through the bayous. Oh, you're right about that. And Meteorologist Mike Seidel's in Surfside Beach. Mike, this is an area that's relatively prone to storm surge. How'd they fare? They did okay. It's certainly nothing like Grand Isle because they didn't have the wind, but they had the surge. And one homeowner who wrote out her first storm is Debbie Andrews. She was with her husband and son. You bought the house in April. Here comes Nicholas, becomes a hurricane. What was it like being in the house last night and uh, after midnight when it came through? It was very scary. Uh, we were... We've had a thunderstorm before and the house kind of rocks and waves, but last night it was literally moving. Um, tea and the picture on the counter was just like a, was, was going back. Yeah, you showed me that. It looked like a video from an earthquake. It was, it was scary. And the wind was what was, the wind was whipping around the house so much that it was pushing rain in under doors all around the sides of the house. Wow. We actually have water damage in the house, not because of rain so much as because of the wind blowing it under. Yeah, and your roof's okay. As far as we know, we haven't been up there yet. And the water came up about a foot here into the garage? About, a foot, about 18 inches into the garage. Um, the vehicles were in there, and they're okay. But everything, we, we didn't know. Every We noticed now that our neighbors have everything in the garage up three or four feet. <laughs> so well, see, you learned, you learned, it was a learning experience. Now, what about this with the uh, concrete pad and the water? Yeah, the insurance company hopefully will come and tell us what to do. Apparently, the concrete is supposed to be made to break away. It's in squares, and you can see it broke on the squares, apparently like it's supposed to, but it makes it kind of scary because I don't know how deep the water goes. And okay. we, we got have no about 15 seconds. One quick last question. Do you stay for another hurricane? No. Okay. Not I didn't again. think so. Not okay, again. we'll come back. Thanks for the background. They were here all night, and it was loud, and it was scary. Joining us live tonight is Mike Seidel. He's in Surfside Beach. Mike, for a lot of folks, you know, they went to bed last night, a tropical storm. Some places, though, storm surge as high as six, six and a half feet or so, which may have caught them off guard. Yeah, the surge got them here. Also, the heavy rain and the winds gusting to 60 miles an hour. Now, a majority of the homes, I'd say at least 90 percent of the homes are fine. But you've got these exceptions, especially the ones closer to the water. There's the Gulf of Mexico. Nice, clean sets right now. And there's a lot of surfers out here in Surfside. But look at this. Uh, piles of debris coming from underneath this house here. The upstairs looks fine. Their roof is in pretty good shape. Uh, down the beach here towards the jetty, we've got the blue tarp. A couple gentlemen earlier, probably maybe the homeowners, put up uh, some plywood and then put the tarp over it to keep any additional rain out. But, you know, once you lose part of the roof and it's still raining, uh, the damage is done. We'll walk up here. We've got a couple more homes that got hit pretty hard with the wind from Nicholas. This is late last night and after midnight, talking to some homeowners earlier, and they're back from the beach and they came out on their deck and it, it basically had waves crashing under their house. You can see the damage here. Their concrete pad here has fallen. But again, this is typical of what you see. They, they put these here uh, for construction reasons. Uh, it's going to have to be uh, repaired, obviously. The steps are gone here, and this house had roof damage. You can see all the debris around. And remember, whoops, the surge came right up through here. Plus, we had the wind-driven rain, which also got in. I mean, if you got 60-mile-an-hour winds, and rain blowing sideways, water will find a way to get into your house. The water is beginning to go down 
in the distance. We'll go over there on the next uh, live shot and show you what's going on as far as that goes. But uh, again, it's uh, nice to have the sun out right now. The rain is gone and the cleanup is underway. Only folks allowed in here now are homeowners, uh, people living here, property owners, and workers coming to help clean up the mess and get things back online. Power is expected to be back on from Centerpoint Energy in about three days. Let's go down to Houston now, or up to Houston rather, from Surfside, about an hour's drive, and check in with Weather Channel meteorologist Reynolds Wolf. Reynolds? When Nicholas came ashore, it was a Category 1 hurricane. People on the coast, now today, getting a chance to assess just how much damage it did. Mike Seidel is in Surfside Beach. Mike, one of these places, Surfside Beach, to be fully exposed to storm surge and wind. Yes, many, many times. Last year, they dealt with Laura and then Beta. In fact, before Beta last year, they had a nice dune right where I'm standing. So the dune is long gone. We've got concrete from maybe a structure from many years ago. What we've noticed, a lot of shells out here, good shelling that have come in with the uh, surge. That's usually the case after a tropical system or a nor'easter. This house here got hit pretty hard. Again, surge coming under the house, uh, into the garage and the lower levels. All these houses are on stilts, but it still hits pretty hard when you've got that wall of water and just the force of three or four feet of water rolling in along with 60 mile an hour winds. Now this is what they have down here, this big um, jetty, a breakwater, piles of boulders. And this extends all the way up uh, the uh, street right along the water here, Ocean Boulevard. And in the uh, foreground, we've got a sinkhole, pothole that opened up as the water came crashing over uh, the rocks here. And earlier, they had a bobcat out here picking up boulders from one side of the street and putting them back in place. So the cleanup is underway, but a long way to go. Power is out for probably the next uh, three days, according to Center Point Energy. We'll come back and update you on the flash flood situation as the impacts from Nicholas continue in Louisiana, Mississippi, and over in Alabama. Stay with us here on the Weather Channel through 1 a.m. Eastern. Well, uh, today, the weather improving in Texas after a hit from Hurricane Nicholas last night. Our Mike Seidel is in Surfside Beach, uh, where Mike, you know, I would, I would almost categorize this one as a sneaky hurricane because it didn't become a hurricane until basically landfall. Exactly, but as we often say, there's not much difference between a 70-mile-an-hour tropical storm and 75-mile-an-hour hurricane as far as impacts go. Impacts still here in Surfside Beach. They got the worst of the storm late last night. Remember, landfall was south of your Matagorda, but look at the standing water still in these uh, neighborhoods. This is on the south side of town uh, near the jetty. This vehicle trying to drive through here. It's not very deep, but get a sense of all the water here. And this gentleman, uh, we talked to him earlier. He's been here quite a while. Uh, basically his uh, vacation home, rental home. And uh, notice he's got the blue tarps up there. The wind came in just at the right angle and lifted off the roof, and that's down on the ground. So he's lost part of his roof. He's got water damage inside, and uh, he's getting out there today, everybody getting back in here, trying to kind of do some remediation and take care of the roofs because any additional rain, although there's not much in the forecast the rest of the week, would cause more problems inside. More rain on the way for the Big Easy and Baton Rouge tonight. We'll check back in with Dr. Rick Nabb, Mike Bettis, and Alex Wilson. Get the latest on the forecast with Nicholas's impacts continuing.